I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will take up a general equation to find the derivative. The question here is determine general expression for the derivative of quadratic function in standard form. Interpret your result. So quadratic equation in standard form could be y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, right? So that is the equation on which we are going to work. So we say derivative is f dash x, right? Which is defined as limit. We say h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So that is the general expression. So we'll use this equation and find the derivative at any point on this function, which is a parabola. So replacing x with x plus h, what do we get? We get a times x plus h whole square plus b times x plus h plus c minus f of x, that means ax square plus bx plus c. It's a good idea to put all those terms in brackets as I have done right. Otherwise, you may sometimes get confused and get a wrong answer, right? Let's expand this. We have a times x square plus 2xh plus h square plus we could write this as bx plus bh plus c minus. We have ax square plus bx plus c. Everything divided by h. Now simplify this particular expression. To simplify all these three terms should get cancelled plus c with this plus c when you take away bx with bx ax square with a times x square right so that is what so once you get rid of these terms you could simplify further we limit h approaches zero all the terms left will be having h in it that's important otherwise you've done a mistake so 2a x h first term then we have plus a h square then we have plus b h so we have these three terms over h now this i could write as limit h approaches zero we can take h common so if i take h common i'm left with 2 a x plus a h plus b divided by h. Now we can cancel out h, right, and substitute h equals to 0 to find the derivative. So we get 2ax plus b. So what we really find is that f dash x, let me write it in a different thing, for a quadratic function, so, so what we get here is if f of x is equals to ax square plus bx plus c f dash x is equals to two times c here two times ax plus b do you see that as you know the rate of change for a constant is zero right for a linear term it is that part b and for a quadratic term it's two times a so that is a combination which you always get so from here what do you interpret? So the second part of this question is interpret your result. That's kind of important, right? Result means we have to interpret what derivative signify here. So for a parabola, this is kind of a parabola. Let's assume A is positive. So it will be a function which is kind of like this, right? In that case, the derivative is is a straight line. You can see if you draw a tangent here, it is negative, zero, and positive, correct? So you'll normally get a straight line kind of like this as a derivative. Do you see that? So derivative is a straight line whose slope is 2 times a and y-intercept is b, correct? So that is what you get. So derivative of any quadratic function will be a linear function. So let me write it very clearly here. And that is to say, 
that derivative, let's write down here, derivative of a quadratic function is a linear function, right? So, so this is very, very important to understand. In general, any quadratic function is derivative will be a linear function. I hope that's clear, right? Thank you and all the best.